Blanket stitch is a fun embroidery stitch that's not just for blankets. Today I'm going to show you how to do blanket stitch and give you ideas for when to use it in your next embroidery project. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So blanket stitch gets its name because it's commonly used for the edging on things, like the edge of a blanket to help hem it and keep the hem and the edge strong and secure. And its close cousin, buttonhole stitch, is basically just blanket stitches that are right next to each other and they are used in fine sewing, like in buttonholes or little eyelets, anything where you're gonna have the fabric cut away and you want to keep that edge strong and secure. So that's traditionally how blanket stitch is used, but it can also be used as a decorative embroidery stitch. And it can be used just by itself on fabric, and it's also commonly used in applique. So I have this wall hanging that I made many, many years ago, and you can see it has this hearts that are applique, and the edge is stitched with blanket stitch. So that's another common way that blanket stitch can be used. In embroidery, blanket stitch can be used as borders and outlines of motifs, but you can also creatively use it to stitch things like wheels or flowers, ladders, all different kinds of shapes can be made with blanket stitch. So let's get started stitching blanket stitch. To do blanket stitch, bring your needle and thread to the front of your fabric and then take a little stitch perpendicular to the line that you're going to be stitching. So you notice the stitch looks like a little L. And then you'll continue in this way, taking stitches perpendicular to the line, being sure that the thread goes around the needle. To turn an outside corner, make a stitch that extends the line you're stitching and then continue along stitching in stitches that are perpendicular to the new line. To stitch an inside corner, take one stitch at a diagonal that goes right up to the corner turn and then new stitches along that line. Stitching curved lines is easy. You just gradually change the angle of the stitches that you're making to match the curve that you want to make. Once you're done stitching blanket stitch, you just take a small tacking stitch on the last stitch to hold it in place. So there's how to stitch basic blanket stitch, but there are a lot of different varieties you can do with the spacing between the stitches and the length of the stitches and the curves that you use. So be sure to check out all my other videos with blanket stitch variations. You can see the links to those below. For full tutorials for blanket stitch and other basic embroidery stitches, be sure to check out my website, evadastudio.com.